Hi Eagles, it's Coach Williams, and I have some more fun and challenging activities you can do with a sock ball. These ones have to do with balancing, as well as keeping the ball in motion. These can help you with different sports skills, and it's also just fun to have a contest, either by yourself to see how many you can do, or with one of your friends, or your brother, or your sister, or maybe even your mom or your dad. Okay, first one. Let's see if you can balance it on your head. Ooh, that's kind of hard. Can you walk forwards with it on your head? Can you walk backwards? Can you turn a circle? Oh, I almost was gonna fall off. Oh, it fell off. But that's okay, because we're practicing. So I'll just try again. So you put it back on your head and see how well you can balance a sock ball on your head. Or maybe you can time and see for how long. One, two, three. See how long you can keep it up there. All right, here is another one. You can use the palm of your hand, just like that, and see how many times you can keep it up without it falling on the ground. You wanna keep the ball right near you, so you don't wanna hit it too hard. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15. See how many you can get. You don't want to swing your arm really high because then it might hit the ceiling. Oops, that hit my fan. That was not good. Definitely don't want to break things in your house, okay? Because that could be unsafe and you might get in trouble for that too. So keep the ball under control near you, all right? Using both hands, see how many times you can keep it up. Keep your eyes on the ball because that helps you be more successful. And then you can usually get more. You can also use this part of your arm. It's called your forearm. See if you can keep it up with that. Maybe you can use the two of them together, like in volleyball. There we go, now I'm getting it. I just had to practice a little bit. All right, um, another one, side to side like this. Use your fingertips, okay, your finger pads, and bounce it right back, side to side to side. One, two, three, four, five. Got to keep your eye on it. And if you lose control, you can just try again. All right, sock balls are fun. All right, another one, let's see. I'm gonna use my knee and I'm gonna hit it up with my knee and see if I can catch it. Other one. Maybe you can keep it going with more than one knee. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost, almost ten. Then I dropped it. You can use the top of your foot. So with this, you want to put the sock ball down on your foot. And then you want to lift your foot straight up to your hand. If you try to kick your foot out, then what's going to happen is, is it's just going to roll off. All right, you want to make sure it stays on your foot. And if you can balance it there without it rolling off, then you just lift your foot straight up, just like that, straight up. All right, so not kicking out, but lift it straight up. And you can see how many times, oh, roll off. Gotta balance it. And see how many times you can do that. All right, that was some more sock ball challenges for you. Make it a great day, Eagles. Be nice to someone.